the author of a new best-selling book, The Great Depression Ahead. Economist Harry Dent joins us live from our New York City newsroom. Harry, good morning. Nice to be here, Megan. Uh, so just reading your bio, it's rather impressive. Uh, you are very well respected. You've predicted all sorts of things that have happened in this country and other countries. When everybody else told you you were going to be wrong, you turned out being right. <laughs> And I'm sorry to tell our viewers that you are one of the ones who is predicting that this recession will lead to another Great Depression? Yes, you know, this isn't just a banking crisis. It's the peak of, of the massive baby boom generation's entire spending cycle. And for many years to come, they're going to be spending less, saving more. This is something we can predict very reliably with demographics. Wait, so you think it's the the, the retirement of the baby boomers that's really get, gotten us into this mess? Well, people <laughs> think in, in their mid to late 40s and spending spend less as they prepare for retirement. So that's the first trend that's happening. But we are also seeing the early baby boomers accelerate in retirement. And that's even worse because they leave the world workforce don't pay payroll taxes, don't earn incomes, and require benefits. So all the demographic trends are down for years to come. All right, if you think we're actually headed for another Great Depression, <laughs> um, when is it when is it hitting and what sort of numbers are we going to be looking at? First of all, I think we're probably going to get a bounce in the markets the next three to six months. People should use that to sell their stocks and 401k plans, get liquid and cash. Same with real estate. They wish they'd sell it. We expect a bounce into late this year, early uh, 2010 at the latest, but then the economy turns back down. We're expecting stocks will go down to something like about a 3,800 Dow, give or take, and housing should be down to 2,000, near 2,000 levels. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but for places like New York, San Francisco, Miami, that's a lot lower than you think. A 3,800 Dow, as we look at the big board, it's at 8,000 right now. What, what does that mean for our viewers as a practical level? You know, it, it, uh, what, if you are right, what, what should they be doing? Look at this. Look what you're doing to the markets right now as we talk, Harry. Uh, down below 8,000. What should people be doing with their money? I'm here to sell books. I'm here to sell books. I'm here to sell books. Well, again, you know, this is a situation where all assets go down and investments, bubbles are bursting. That, that only happened in the 1930s. So you have to sell out as things move up, like stocks. We expect to move back up to 10, maybe 11,000. Sell and just go to cash. Hold that cash for the next few years and let this deflation and banking crisis play out, just like in the 30s. You're Money goes up in value. Same for real estate or anything else you own that you don't need to keep long term. Let's get this uh, new information, though. How about this for a prediction? A market crash coming in the third quarter of this year, and the U.S. is headed for bankruptcy? <laughs> That's so how about this for prediction? A market crash coming in the third quarter of this year, and the U.S. is headed for bankruptcy? <laughs> and the U.S. is headed for bankruptcy? <laughs> this for a prediction a market crash coming in the third quarter of this year and the u.s is headed for bankruptcy that's how harry dent of, i was so taken aback yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's how harry dent of hs dent investment management says happy new year he is the author of the great crash ahead strategies for a world turned upside down uh harry come on man i mean <laughs> that seems a little bit uh, over the top, doesn't it? Uh, Harry, come on, man. Uh, Harry, come on, man. Come on, man. And I'm sorry to tell our viewers that you are one of the ones who is predicting that this recession will lead to another 
Great Depression? Yes, you know, this isn't just a banking crisis. It's the peak of, of the massive baby boom generation's entire spending cycle. And for many years to come, they're going to be spending less, saving more. This is something we can predict very reliably with demographics. Wait, so you think it's the, the, the retirement of the baby boomers that's really get, gotten us into this mess? Well, people are <laughs> in, in their mid to late 40s and spending spend less as they prepare for retirement. So that's the first trend that's happening. But we are also seeing the early baby boomers accelerate in retirement. And that's even worse because they leave the work force don't pay payroll taxes don't earn incomes and require benefit imagine business people and entrepreneurs knowing when product sales will grow in different sectors including the growth potential in every city state or country look at my eyes right here come give me a close shot will you and look at these eyes i have never lied to you never i never will this shouldn't seem so strange in a world where we can predict the movement of the planet, when the sun will rise and set, the precise ebbs and flows of the tides. So why can't we predict the ebbs and flow of our economy? The truth is, the more we learn about things, the more they become predictable. That is the history of mankind. We will never know everything, but the more we can predict, the more we can manage, program, and automate things to increase our standard of living and reduce the many risks and uncertainties that seem inherent to life. My name's Harry Dent, founder of Dent Research, and I am here to show you how our proven method can allow us to forecast the economy years or even decades in advance. Yes, you can see the key economic trends that will impact your life, your business, your investments, and your family decades in advance. We use demographics to forecast economic events and business trends with remarkable accuracy. Why? Because people do predictable things as they age. Now many economists and financial advisors, they say this isn't possible, but our track record speaks for itself. 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 Our track record speaks for itself.